Hey guys, Kama here, and welcome to my showcase of my multi-floor elevator. This is a remake of the one I had already made, just because the one I made before was really bad. I didn't talk in it because I wasn't comfortable with talking yet. I mean, from your perspective, it's like I'm talking to you, but from my perspective, I'm alone in my room talking to my computer. And that's kind of weird at first, but I'm comfortable with it now. Don't know if that's a good thing, but anyway. Um, so we can go up. And you do have to hit up or down, depending on where that floor is in relation to where you are. So we'll go up. And if the elevator is below you, and you're way up here somewhere, and you hit a button on this floor, um, it will instantly come to this floor, and then you just hit up or down, depending on where you want to go. And to show you that you don't take any fall damage, I'll switch the game mode here. No fall damage. So we can go up to 15. And 15. We can go down to 13. I probably shouldn't have a 13th floor. Huh. Oh well. And here we are. No fall damage. So now... My maximum here, 25. Um, you can have a maximum of 32 if you build it all the way from bedrock to the highest point. All the way up to 25 now. And here we are, 25. That's weird. Um, go down to 18. This thing's just fun to use. I will say it's not multiplayer friendly just because of how fast it goes. Um, I think I do mention in the second tutorial that I can try and fiddle with the uh, circuitry, try and get it to be multiplayer friendly, but that is, of course, I get enough people requesting it. Um, so let me switch the game mode here and give you a look at some of the redstone behind it. Um, in the first tutorial, I do explain how it works as well as how to build it. Um, so it works with memory cells and reset lines. And basically the uh, memory cells break uh, lines in chains of redstone and get reset with reset lines. Um, that's pretty much all I have. I don't want to brag too much, but I want to say this is one of the best elevators out there. I mean, it's not the most compact, that's for sure. I mean, I'm not... That's partially because I'm lazy. 
but from the user's perspective, I want to say it's one of the better ones out there. I mean, you get that nice flush floor. It's really intuitive controls. Um, it's almost exactly like a real life elevator, except you hit your destination first and then you hit up or down instead of the other way around. But, eh, I, I like it. It's fun to use. And I guess that's all I have. So, watch the tutorials if you want to know how to make it. Rate, comment, subscribe, comment out.